Hello guys again, this is the educational series and we are at chapter number 3, the third chapter and today we're going to take a look in this chapter on the Fibonacci retracement and expansion tools. Now Fibonacci retracement it is the purpose of this recording and it is one of the most important tools for trading financial instruments. There are many strategies that use this, uh, that use this Fibonacci tool and in this recording I'm going to show you where to pick it, what to do with it and what levels are important in, um, in, in, um, in um, taking a decision whether to buy or sell a, a specific currency. Technical analysis actually would be less uh, of a science without this Fibonacci uh, series um, they are they are widely widely used in Elliott wave uh, theory in um, finding support and resistance levels and so on and so forth. Now this is our demo account that we've that we've already uh, know and this is the monthly chart, weekly chart, daily chart, and, up and down to the to the five minute chart. And what I will do for the purpose of learning, I will open a new chart. So five new chart and let's choose the euro dollar chart and let's try to um, change a little bit the property so let's make the background let's make the background uh, mint cream with bar up uh, being green bar down being red then look for a bull candle to come and the bear candle in here like this and then want to chart to shift no auto scroll candlestick uh, no grid and it should look like this and give it a little bit of a zoom zoom uh, so that we know uh, what we are what we are looking for now regardless what you are looking for at the chart for example um, you are looking for a move that comes to the upside or you are looking for the move that goes that goes um, from the downside to the upside you have this tool that, that is being called Fibonacci retracement and if you click insert look on the left side in here if you click insert let's suppose we are Let's suppose we are trying to analyze this move, this euro dollar move in here, okay, from the lows. So the lows in here are, and you're looking on our data window, the lows in here are 127.66, and want to see if, uh, if there is a relationship between the Fibonacci numbers into this sequence. And what to do is to click insert, and then you have, you see that Fibonacci actually Actually, the name of Fibonacci comes from uh, the great mathematician Leonardo Fibonacci, and he has here an entire tab dedicated for the Fibonacci retracement, the Fibonacci time zones, Fibonacci fan, arcs, and expansion. We're going to deal only with the retracement and expansion in this chapter because these are the most, uh, the most, the most used uh, tools in, in Fibonacci. So let's take the retracement and from the moment you pick the retracement you select your uh, for example you want to look for a retracement from the upside to the downside so from recent highs what kind of retracement does the does the price uh, and you just take click and drag from the lows till the highs in here and let's change the color a little bit this color really is yellow so what to do what you should do you should select the FIBA properties, right click and then this is uh, red and let's put on the FIBA levels in here and change the color for the FIBA levels and you have it in black and here you go, this is your Fibonacci retracement. Now what this means, this means that by the moment you see a move, okay, and this is your move from the lows to the highs, then you are looking for a possible Fibonacci retracement in order to initiate a new buying opportunity in this case and for example the most important the most important levels used in technical analysis for the Fibonacci retracement are 38.2 and as you can see this is a 38.2 percent the 50 percent and 61.8 percent level so these three are the most important ones however however you can um, you can use 23.6 and there are a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, different levels to, uh, that can be used and depending very much on the strategy that you, are, that you are working with. For example, if you are looking for 
at a contacting triangle, you should know that in a contacting triangle, legs of a triangle uh, have the tendency to retrace quite a lot of the previous wave going into 75% retracement, even 81% retracement and so on and so forth. Let's, let's suppose, for example, that this was, this was a, uh, a moment of time that you wanted to look for a 70% retracement or uh, even a higher ret uh, retracement saw, such as 80% uh, and how to add a level in here. So just select the Fibonacci retracement, right clicking here, Fibo properties and under the tab in here, add, you will just click add and we will try to add a level. So we will try to add, uh, if you can see in here, from the lows you have 0 0.5, there is 50% retracement, 0 0.618, there is 61.8 retracement and we'll, we will try to add, let's say, uh, 0 0.718, okay? So 0 0.718 and under the description you might just say that this is 71.8% retracement click add and make it like this and there you go you have the 71.8 retracement in here you can play with the settings whatever you like uh, however you like this is a black for example you can make it uh, I don't know you can make it brown let's say okay you can make it something like this and then your uh, your retracement, your Fibonacci retracement will look will look uh, like this. You can you can play with different colors when you have more than one Fibonacci retracement or expansion tool on your on your chart. And this is just an example uh, given by um, uh, on this uh, one hour chart. But for example, if you are let me delete this, and if you are if you are analyzing a weekly chart, for example, and you want to see how much a wave retraces from uh, the highs to the lows in here so just click again insert then Fibonacci retracement and just click from the highs in here and drag it to the downside in here and there you go you have the levels let me make them let me make them a little bit more uh, user friendly and these are your levels and you are looking for the retracement for possible initiating or, or, or a move to, uh, to the downside. Now, you may choose the Fibonacci retracement from the insert tab or you may use it from here, from the customize, from the customize uh, <coughs> tab. So just clicking here, you see this is being called Fibonacci retracement and you can actually work with it on each and every time frame trying to identify um, places to uh, initiate a long or a short position. For example, if you, if, you, um, if you are trading based on Elliott Wave uh, theory and you are having a sequence something like um, you are looking for a fourth wave type, then you should know that the fourth wave types according to the Elliott Wave theory come into the 38.2, 50% retracement of the previous wave, of the third wave. So what you should do, for example, in here, if this is a fourth wave type and you want to see that, you just take your Fibonacci retracement and try to look for the potential. So you might say that this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So that from the potential <coughs> second wave in here, trying to look for, um, for, the, for the top in here, and you look for the retracement. And you know that the fourth wave types have the tendency to retrace towards 38.2 and 50% retracement. And as you can see, this is the retracement in the Fibonacci and this might be a uh, fourth wave type. So this was just an example of how to use, um, how this Fibonacci retracement are being used on, uh, on trading. Next, ch uh, next chapter will be with the Fibonacci expansion. So um, I also added a book recommendation. It is a great book, The Fibonacci Analysis by Constance Brown, and uh, it will open your eyes on even more complicated ways to use this uh, Fibonacci retracement, one of the greatest tools technical analysis ever invented.